Hello and welcome to another history tutorial. Uh, we're, today we're going to be looking at uh, the Renaissance time and particularly source skills around Vesalius. So join us for another interactive and free lesson. So thank you for joining me for this uh, interactive lesson. In this lesson, we're going to have a, a quick quiz all about Vesalius. And then we're going to look at a source question, a how useful is a source question, similar to an AQA style question that you'd find for question one in the Health and Britain exam. Uh, so firstly, let's have a bit of revision of Vesalius and go over to a, a short quiz. Here we are with our, our quiz. It's a little bit of a different quiz. Uh, what I'd like to do is play the game of find the Vesalius facts. So there's lots of facts about different uh, surgeons and uh, medical people and see if you can find the Vesalius information. Have a little look through, read the information and then think which of these are Vesalius. If you like, revise your Vesalius information with uh, the QR code below. Just scan on the QR code and you will find a link to uh, the channels, um, Quizlet cards and Quizlet notes on Renaissance surgery and medicine. And you can even work out some of the other ideas and maybe who they belong to as well. Uh, so pause and read through and have a go. And here is the answers. So Vesalius wrote The Fabric of the Human Body to his famous book. He is famous for stealing uh, bodies to dissect. And when he dissected his bodies, he proved Galen wrong 200 times and showed that the human body was very different to what Galen said. For instance, he proved Galen wrong about the jawbone, that it was uh, one bone and not two. And obviously the reason why Galen got these wrong is because he was dissecting animals. So here we are with our source question. We're going to develop some grade nine top level source skills. Our question here is in the box at the top. And for AQA, the source question is always question one. You always start with how useful is source A for the Health and Britain exam? So how useful is source A to historians studying the improvements made to surgery in Britain in the 1500s, 1600s? So we have the topic of improvements made to surgery. We've got to focus on that word improvements quite a lot. And obviously we know that the command word is how useful. Then it's got another bit to the question underneath. Use source A in your contextual knowledge to explain your answer. So that's telling us about the question as well. It's got the word explain in there. It's got the word contextual knowledge. It's got source A. And we've been told to use them. So all the clues about how to be successful are there. So have a look then at the success. Have a look through it again and see if you can list a success criteria. How would you be successful in answering this question? You don't need to worry too much about the source at the moment. All the clues are in the question and the skills you need to show. So pause and have a little think about those command words, those command phrases. What do you need to do to be successful? All right, so here's my ideas. Uh, so firstly, you need to write in your P and P or answers. So we need to make a point, first of all, an argument about how useful the source is and say why we think it's useful. So we can argue something. We then support that idea with evidence from the source content, with a message or, you know, as we'll, talk, as we'll talk about later on, or content of the source provenance. We need to give reasons and suggestions about how the source content or provenance is useful or not useful. So we might use the phrase, this suggests, for instance. Then we explain with our knowledge why what we've suggested about the source is useful or not useful. Uh, we need to use our factual knowledge in this case, about Vesalius. We should try and explain two ideas from the content of the source for six marks. If we want to have top level marks, eight marks, we need to also refer to the provenance. We could explain one content idea and one provenance idea. We must conclude how useful it is, particularly for top band. But you don't necessarily need to write a separate conclusion. You can just make sure that your points and your links are very clearly giving an amount of usefulness. It's very useful. It's partly useful. Be very clear about that. So there's a lot to get done in this, but it is still quite straightforward. So in your in your exam, you will have the source sheet. You'll have a separate sheet of information with the source on it. 
use that to plan your idea and write all over it. Start annotating around the source about how the message is useful or not useful. So, and then list your knowledge. Start, you know, brain dumping that knowledge onto the paper. So here we are at the source. So you can pause and have a go now. Try to pick out some of the messages from the source, the ways it's useful and add your knowledge. Try to pick out the ways it's not useful and add your knowledge, okay? Pause and give that a go. Have a bit of a think about this. So here's my ideas, mainly just focusing on the, the content at the moment. Uh, so uh, we've got, on the one side, we've got uh, the source is useful uh, with knowledge uh, given about it um, as well. Uh, so obviously the first thing that suggests that at the top there that knowledge of anatomy improved in this time because you look at the picture and you can see the beautiful drawing of the human body. And so knowledge is improving at this time uh, of anatomy. And therefore, we can that could be our major suggestion. Then you can use your knowledge. The salius dissect human bodies, not animals like Galen. He proved Galen wrong 200 times. Jawbone being an example. You could talk about the septum in the heart. You could talk about the kidneys. Galen thought they were at different levels. Uh, those sorts of things. His work inspired Harvey to challenge Galen and discover the circulatory system. So loads of ideas. Uh, there's limited impact at the time is a bit of a negative. People were slow to accept his ideas. So the Christian church supported Galen's ideas still at this time, and anyone who questioned them could be um, uh, put in prison or you know, badly affected. So you know, you could go back to the late medieval time of Roger Bacon put in prison for questioning Galen. So it's a bit of a risk the Celius was doing to question the church. So here we are with our provenance planning, the second bit we might want to plan on the exam paper. So the provenance is uh, the, you know, where the source comes from, who made it, why did they make it, when did they make it? So the background of, of, the, of where and how the source was made. So we can plan this as well. We can look at the who made it, the when they made it, in the information given by underneath the source, and we can start to come up with some ideas about how it's useful. So give this a go yourself. So in a moment, have a pause, and then pick out some of the, the who, the when, the where, those sorts of things. Think about, is it useful or not useful? And when you've got an idea, you must back it up with some knowledge. So an easy way to do that, of course, is to talk about the time period. You know about the time period, or the person. You might know about the person. So what knowledge can you give about that? You might have heard of the book. So you might be able to talk about that as well. So pause and give this a go. All right, here are my ideas then. So published in 1543 and translated very quickly into English by Thomas Gemnus. Suggests people thought this was really useful about anatomy. And, you know, it started to question Galen and people uh, thought that was good and accepted these ideas. For example, uh, one of the things he suggested is that blood did not flow through the septum in the heart. And this left a mystery to be solved. And obviously you can link that to Harvey, if you like, uh, and how, you know, shortly afterwards, Harvey then solves that mystery. So showing his impact at that time on improving surgery. So I didn't really think of too many uh, negatives of the provenance. You know, one good positive is, is plenty. So let's start thinking about how we're going to write this. So obviously we're going to use our point, evidence, explain, link, style. If we go for top band answers, we need to make sure that we're saying, saying the source is quite useful or very useful about the improvements made to surgery. And we need to then give a reason about how this shows improvement to surgery. The obvious one could be showing that Galen's wrong about anatomy. For example, give them content. Again, probably something about the anatomy that you see in the picture, or you're talking about the provenance. Give something from the information underneath. Explain. This is useful about improvements made to surgery because then give some of that knowledge we plan. Link. If we said it's very useful, we want to try and say furthermore, we want to try and say a second idea, maybe a longer impact in time that shows this is useful. Or if we think it's only quite useful, we might say, however, and give a negative. Let's give this a go. Again, you can play the game of sort of pausing and going along with me as we, uh, as we write an answer, or you can just follow me, talk to an answer um, and learn about how to do this. So we're going to make our point first. So obviously you give a pause, write your own point about how you think this is improving, improving surgery. We're going to focus on content, not provenance in this paragraph. 
uh, give it a go. See what you can come up with as an argument. All right, so here's my idea. Uh, so source A is very useful about the improvements made to surgery because it shows that the, the knowledge of anatomy did improve by criticizing Galen's ideas. Okay, so knowledge of anatomy did improve by criticizing Galen. So that's what I've got to focus on now, criticizing Galen. So I need some content from the source that I can then explain shows Galen's wrong. So now, for example, the content shows, describe in one sentence what the content shows. We do not want to spend our entire answer describing the source. Just one sentence from the source only. So again, let's give it a go. So for example, the content shows that the muscular system is drawn in detail. This suggests the facilitator had an excellent understanding of anatomy or developed an excellent understanding of anatomy if you want to link that improvement a bit more strongly. So we now want to obviously talk about the great improvement to anatomy and explain that he's improving surgery by doing this. Therefore, the source is useful about improvements made to surgery because, and we then want to talk about the story of proving Galen wrong about anatomy. So you can pause and give us a go. Practice writing that explanation. Two or three sentences of knowledge now. The bulk of your answer is your knowledge. Right, pause and give it a go. Right, and then here's my answer. So therefore, the source is useful about the improvements made to surgery because Vesalius dissected humans to discover a detailed anatomy of the body. This improved surgery as he proved Galen wrong over 200 times. For instance, the jawbone was one bone, not two. Um, you could use some of your other examples, the septum, for instance. Uh, the blood didn't throw through the middle of the heart like Galen thought. So this book was translated by Geminus and used in Britain, which meant that surgeons in Britain could perform more, ac more accurate surgery as their knowledge of the body improved. That's quite an important sentence to link it to Britain because it does say surgery in Britain in a question. So furthermore, the content is useful because I've said it's very useful at the top, so I need to now give a furthermore. If you said it's partly useful, you need to give a however and back it up with another idea. So pause, see if you can come up with another explanation of his improvement to surgery. Right, so here's my idea then. Furthermore, the source content is useful uh, because surgeons realised that they had to continue to criticise the work Galen to improve their knowledge. For instance, William Harvey proved Galen wrong about blood production in the liver and proved that the fact that there was a circulatory system and the heart was a pump. So I've then done a, a sort of another period of time. I've linked slightly further in time to give a, a real big impact of his. So I've probably explained both my content ideas. I've probably got six marks there now because I've got two explanations. I really need a provenance idea uh, to get full marks. So we need that second paragraph with some provenance to get top marks. So have a go at that one. Practice that. When you're doing it, very useful, perhaps, proving that surgery because his book was so popular. Give the, give the provenance about the book when it was published maybe explain about its translations and its importance. You might want to use Geminus again and talk about that and maybe even link to Harvey again. To explain, it doesn't matter if you use your knowledge twice, you know, you're explaining a second idea and particularly think about the provenance here. So give that a go. So hopefully you've now developed some top level source skills ready for your GCSE exams. Um, do subscribe and look out for more videos on the way.